As with last day tradition at APEC summits, the leaders donned clothing of the host country for a group photo, brown Peruvian shawls. Soon to be outside looking in, it was the last day of the last foreign trip for U.S. President Barack Obama. Russian President Vladimir Putin and President Obama had a brief exchange earlier on Sunday. The situation in Syria was brought up. We are still uh, deeply concerned about uh, the bloodshed and chaos that's being sown by constant bombing attacks by Assad uh, and uh, the Russian military against uh, populations in Aleppo and the need for us to arrive first at some sort of humanitarian ceasefire. Obama went on to defend TPP, saying Americans would lose jobs and the country's position in the Asia-Pacific region would erode. His successor, Donald Trump, has vowed to pull out of the pact. Much of the two days of the summit was overshadowed by talk of how Trump might change how the countries here do business with each other. There were diplomatic bridges built too. New Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte met Vladimir Putin. While slamming the U.S. and other Western nations as bullies, Duterte called Russia a great country. In his closing remarks at the summit, the Peruvian president recognized the rapid economic growth in Asia Pacific. But he said it's the responsibility of the nations here to ensure that that economic growth is calculated and inclusive. Free trade, open trade is fundamental for the world's prosperity. After all, trade is for people and people must be included. And in their summit declaration, the 21 countries warned of unequal growth and the emergence of protectionist trends. Something that might be even more of an issue when the leaders take the stage for next year's family photo in Vietnam. Scott Heather, Al Jazeera, Lima.